We're in the develop persona of Affinity Photo with a picture that I got just a little bit wrong. That sky, way too bright. I should have taken it down a couple of stops. I didn't. However, there is a rather nifty workaround using the develop persona and an adjustment layer. The first thing we need to do is to make some basic adjustments. Looking at the histogram, you can see in fairness, it's, yeah, it's virtually right the way across. We have got no spike this side. However, it's this spike here that's resulting in this sky. You can see little red areas. This is where it's clipped in the highlights. So first of all, let's have a look at the exposure. I'm gonna take this a little bit to the left. You can see the way that histogram has dropped down a touch. A little bit of a gap here beginning to appear and we can play with the brightness. We can take this back and forth, just pushing it up to this region here, perhaps dropping that down a little bit more. We can always try the shadow and highlights. I want to come to this anyway, because you can see it's looking rather blocked here, as well as in the bushes. So taking the shadows to the right, let's open these up, taking them into that sort of region. Coming down to the highlights, I'm gonna move this across into this area, so taking it to the left, detail beginning to come through. Now, ideally, I'd like to use an overlay and drag it down and darken down the sky, but we can't with this amount of branches, with this shaped tree, and with the tree and the branches over on the left-hand side. So what we're now going to do is we're going to take this to the photo persona. But first of all, make sure you've got the hand tool, output, pixel layer, we need to change this to either raw layer embedded or raw layer linked. The raw layer embedded is going to take the original raw file. It's going to add all the information that we've done here into that raw file. It's going to take all the information we do in the photo persona, the adjustment layers, anything else we do to it, and it's going to store it in that one file. You can move that file around. You can put it on external hard drives. The downside, it's going to be a couple of hundred megabytes in size. The alternative is to use raw layer linked. Now this is going to take the original raw file. It's going to create another file. Now that file is going to contain all the information we've done here, all the information we do in the photo persona. File size will depend on the amount of layers you add to it. It's going to be much smaller. Now the downside is if you were to move them to external hard drives and you leave one of the files behind, you've either got to re-establish the link or start again. Now, if you don't move it around and I put one on an external hard drive when I download it and it stays there, I can use raw layer linked. So select whichever of the raw layers works for you. Now we're going to click on develop, which is going to take us to the photo persona. Right. That sky, let's have a look at selecting it. For that, we're going to use the flood selection tool. Now, make sure the mode is set to new, current layer, tolerance 10. Don't think that's gonna be enough. I'm gonna take this up a little bit. Let's try, I'm gonna go for 20. I think it's gonna be quite a bit with this. Contiguous, this is the important thing. If you leave it on contiguous, you're not going to get a good selection around the branches. It's not going to go into these little fiddly areas. So untick contiguous. That is important. Let's click down. That's done a really good job. You can see it's in these areas here. It's in between all the branches. It's around all the fiddly bits and pieces here as well. But it's also come around some parts of the image. So for that, we're going to pick up the freehand lasso making sure it is freehand. Mode, we're gonna to change to subtract. Coming in round about this region here, I am guessing. I'm just gonna do a very quick job over the. Don't forget, we can always come back to it because we will be getting a mask with this as well. Once we reach this area, we can release it. That has done a very good job. Let's head up to refine. I'm just going to make a very quick adjustment with this. Just going to take it up. I'm going to feather it by, let's go for two pixels. Next, we're going to head down to an adjustment layer and we're going to come up to levels. Now this has created a mask from the selection. So we can use Command D, Control D to remove that selection. 
you can see there's quite a gap with the histogram, both in the whites and in the blacks. So the black levels, let's move this in. Let's take it to this sort of area. Bring in the whites into this area here and coming down to the gamma. And we're just moving this across to the right hand side. This is where we can start to get the detail out. And that's beginning to look pretty good. Let's click to accept it. Back on this layer, that raw layer, double click, takes us back to the develop persona. Show all layers is showing the adjustment layer as well. If I switch it off and on, you can see there's the before, there's the after. So we can now see it here. But more than that, if I come to clarity, if I take this across, now it's also working with that adjustment layer. So the changes we made in the photo persona, we can continue to use with the develop persona. I'm taking it a little bit more here. I'm just going to give a touch of vibrance. Don't want to be in too much. I'm not going to go with the white balance. I prefer to do this in the photo persona. You can even come to an overlay at this area here, just pulling this out and let's go to the basic tab. Just going to brighten it up very slightly. Something like this. It was a nice bright sunny day after all. Back to overlay, make sure we're on master. So we can head back up to develop. So quite literally using the raw layer, we can pop back and forth from the photo persona to the develop persona. Remember I mentioned the white balance, heading down to an adjustment. White balance is on the top layer. I like to use the picker. You're heading for something like a black. So let's pick up, I know perhaps around here, well perhaps not. A white or a mid-tone. That's looking good. Let's try the path there. I like that. You can also make a few adjustments using the sliders as well. Perhaps taking it here. A little bit of magenta. I think it's just a bit too much greens. Something in that area. Don't forget it is an adjustment layer. So we can come back. We can change it. Talking of which, if we just take a look. There's the sky. Before, we did make a few adjustments, don't forget, in the develop persona. Here it is now. What I tend to do is take this right back. Now slowly dial it in until it looks natural with the image that you've got. I think something around this, around about 70%. Plus we've got the option to come back into the develop persona and make any other changes, any other adjustments. But go on. Give it a try. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Give it the thumbs up if you have. Don't forget to subscribe. Plenty more videos to come. And if you click that little bell icon, yes, you'll receive a notification every time a new video is posted. But until the next time, it is happy imaging and take care.